Welcome to week seven of the Thrift My Way to the USA video series. Over the last six weeks, we've been searching through local thrift stores to try and find items that we can flip for a profit on eBay. So far, we've been able to save up $3,380, but we need $8,000 to be able to get ourselves over to the States to hopefully find even more great items. Massive episode today. Let's dive into it. We'll see what we can grab. Well, guys, let's start in an area that I know very well, the DVD box sets. Unfortunately, on this occasion, at $25, Entourage was just a little bit too much. You can only get 50 for this on eBay. I'm back, and you're fired. Hello, all. Moved into the shoe section, we've got an Instagram viewer poll question. We've got the uh, Jordan basketball shoes. Not sure about these. They were in good condition, though. Let me know at $15 whether or not you would have picked these size eights up yourself. Um, we kept with the shoes, and I've been able to find these Nike Dim Six. I reckon I can get about $80 to $100 for these on eBay. So I'm happy to pay the $15. The Gel Kayano 25s, I love finding these shoes, guys. Always an easy $80 to $100. Happy to pay the $20 there. Kathmandu, just in general, guys, the hiking shoes are a good one to be finding. I'm talking about $60 to $70 on those ones there. And then we found these as well. Now, these actually surprised me. These are the CrossFit shoes, the Reebok Cushion 3.0s. I think I can actually get about $70 to $90. This here was an unbelievable find. Unfortunately, the price was absolutely horrendous at $40. But we've got the Melbourne Demons coming off a round one win last night to kick off the footy season. Got a complete set here of a jacket and the tracksuit pants but uh, to be honest with you I think even as a set I'm probably only selling that for maybe $60 so just not too much uh, meat in the sandwich there to take those. We also found these Billabong vintage jeans as well. I haven't seen too much vintage Billabong before but at 32 waist $9 it was a bit of a no brainer to go ahead and make the purchase on these. Comps on eBay I think I can get about $40 to $45 so I thought that was some pretty good money. Oh I like that. <laughs> oh, me too. Well, guys, not too bad of a way to kick off the day. We had the Instagram viewer poll question there around the Jordan basketball shoes. And you guys have unanimously said, Matt, open up your wallet and pay the $15 for those things. And that's exactly what we've gone ahead and done, guys. I think I'm going to be able to get about 50 bucks for these shoes. The Jordan brand is obviously great. I don't think every Jordan shoe you find is going to be worth a ton of money. Uh, but these ones should turn into 50 and off a $15 spend. That's some pretty good profit. But it's a sell-through rate, guys. That's the reason why I bought it. I just think we're going to see our profits pretty quickly. Guys, we have got an absolutely massive haul here in the One Op Shop. It's a $5 store that I'm in at the moment, and it's absolutely paying off for me. I've got a Tommy Bahama short sleeve floral button up shirt there. That should turn into $35. We've got a Quicksilver Waterman Collection shirt here as well. That should turn into about $30. I'm really liking the floral pattern prints that you're seeing here. Oh, Tori Richard as well, guys. Put this on your bolo list. This one is a huge one. I'm going to turn this one to about $40, I dare say. Size large. Really like the look of that one. Felt like quality as well. Another Tommy Bahama. This one's the same size as the one that I showed you first up. I reckon I might do this one as a bit of a bundle. I might list the two together. Free postage. Save my money there as well. And then I've also found some RM Williams size medium men's shirt as well. That usually goes for about $30 to $35 for me. The brand is just so good. And then we've got some Tommy Bahama shorts as well, guys. Comfortably a $30 sale price on these ones as well. Whenever I'm selling Tommy Bahama, it just seems to move quick. How about this? We've got a second pair of Tommy Bahama shorts shorts as well. Again, just for another $5, 36 waist. I'm anticipating, again, another $30 to $35 on those ones there. RM Williams just keeps popping up, guys. These should turn into about $30. We've got a size 9 regular pair of women's pants here. Really like the look of them, and they're obviously in great condition. And then 100% linen. We've got a pair of men's pants, 36 waist, 32 length. Guys, I reckon we can convert that into about $40 bucks as well. So you're talking 9 items for about $350 worth of value. Some big, big brands in there. Very stoked to get it. And then have a look at this. We jumped into the shoe section. A bathing ape. We've got these shoes, Adidas NMD R1s. They can go for upwards of $1,000, but my fake radar was going off. I thought there might have been an issue with this shoe, and I've had a closer look. See the white tag right there? If you have a look at the tag on the right, there's actually bathing ape written on it. There isn't on this occasion. And then the other one that I've got for you, there's usually a photo of an ape. As you can see there, you can see the detailed image of an ape on the front of the shoe. There isn't on these ones here, so I had to pass. 
So I've been getting a lot of questions on my Instagram and on my YouTube about what do you do when you buy TV series in split seasons? So say for instance, it might be a TV show and you've got seasons one, three, and five. Well, I always go ahead and just list it up as is per what I've found. And then from there in the weeks to come, you might find seasons two and four that you need to complete a set. But if you don't have it actively listed and then you can check it on your phone in the thrift store, then you're not gonna remember what you've got in your death pile sitting at home unlisted. First of all, there's no opportunity for it to sell as is, which can happen. And second of all, you just forget about what you actually need when you're out in the thrift. So very easy, list it up, always list up what you buy and then from there manipulate it as you go. Well guys, it's become a bit of a clothing day because I've got a few more items to take you through here. We've got a size large NFL on field. This is a youth size large LaShawn McCoy Philadelphia Eagles jersey. Number 25 should turn into about $30 to $35 yet again. A tour performance Nike golf polo shirt 2XL. The white colorway, I don't normally buy. There's usually dirt or stains associated, but not on this occasion. This one was a crispy piece. So for eight bucks, I felt that one was a no brainer. And then we've got the one Pablo Montoya. This is a really nice uh, NASCAR shirt. It's well, up four dollars is the reason why I'm buying it. It's also got a made in Honduras size large tag on it, which I like the look of as well. So, now nah, who knows? Who knows what we'll get for it? But I just thought we'd go ahead and pick it up. There's your winner. Pretty short, sharp run there, guys. Just a couple of clothing items. So guys, we're seven weeks down after today and we've got nine weeks to go until this USA trip holiday and I'm getting really excited about it. It's on my mind more and more each day and part of the reason why I'm going over there is to try and collaborate with other reselling YouTube channels and I don't exactly know who it's going to be just yet that I link up with, but I'd be really curious to get your thoughts in the comments below around who you think you would like to see me go and catch up with. I'm happy to honestly fly anywhere in the US to get a collaboration with someone. So let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will do my best to do that while I'm over there. Well guys, this day is just about to escalate. I've been able to find so many great items in this Lifeline Molendina store, and we're gonna kick things off here with the Extreme Pro 3D Logitech joystick. This one sells for about 50 bucks on eBay, and I've been able to pick it up in store for just the $10. The hard goods, well, they continued. I managed to find this JVC camcorder. The old school camcorders, guys, there is some really good money in these things. $40 was the price tag, and I had a look on eBay. The models below were selling for about $180. So I think I can get about 180 to 200 for this thing. This was in really good condition, came with the manual, like the look of it. This one here as well. Now this is a DVD VCR combo player. It was only $30 and I know the combo players can go for some good money. There it is right there, $175. So I've picked that one up. Now this one here, this is a Yamaha sound receiver. So for 40 bucks, I thought that was a very decent price. I've sold a few of these in the past and you're talking about $200 free postage. So for 40 bucks, that was a great pickup. This one here though, this was an awesome one as well. I had absolutely no idea about this, but it's a five CD changer. It's got a big portable CD drive. You can put it up to five CDs in there. That's all I know, but the comps on eBay, $335. Who would have thought? Uh, so that was a really good pickup as well. And then this one here as well was another great buy. This was the uh, the DVD recorder. So the HDR HDC 100 turns into about 150. So I asked if I could get a bit of a discount. There'd be a price that you could do if I could take them all or are they all just... I, even though they've only just come in the last two days, oh, I have that. still not 10% off each 10%? one. 10%? Yeah. Okay. Um, done. I'll, I'll, okay. Take, I'll take all of them. I'll mark them now then. Appreciate so everything came to $200 and there's $885 worth of resale value. So that was amazing. But then the manager of the Lifeline store, let me go out the back and have a look through some DVDs that had only just come into store. The public weren't getting access to this and I was able to pick through to hopefully find some winners. And sure enough, I did. We've got Hawaii 5 -0. That should turn into about $30. And then we've got uh, 90210, Beverly Hills. This was a great TV show back in the day, 1990s. I've got six seasons worth here and I reckon I can turn this into about $60. I I have paid $4 per season to get my hands on it though. So $24 to buy it, but I think it'll turn into about 60 or 70. So that was a good buy. This one here as well, we've got the Eagles Farewell Tour. Whenever I see this gold case, I know there's money. I think I can get about 40 bucks for that one there. And then we've got Avatar, the complete series on Blu-ray as well. The nine disc set, I'm gonna try and sell that one for about $35 in pre-owned condition. Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter, you can never go wrong there. So look, to be able to get out the back and have a look at these DVDs, that was a real thrill.
grill. So a huge thank you to Emma at Lifeline for that. Jumped into the clothing section back outside, and for ten dollars I found the uh, G Star Raw Arc 3D Slims. I can get about fifty dollars for these, so they were really good. And I also found these Levi uh, shorts as well for eight dollars. Again, you're talking about thirty dollars worth of conversion. So so much bought out of this store, but there was still more. So we ended up getting a bunch of shoes as well. I've got these, which are an awesome pair of Nikes. They were only $15. So they should do really well. I think they're a women's pair. Um, we've got some Reebok Nano 7s for $15. I'm happy to pay $15 for shoes like that. So that was a good one as well. Um, these are a pair of Kyrie's. Uh, six youth as well in size, but a pair of Kyrie Irving shoes. He's killing it on the court at the moment. So for $15, they should go pretty well. Um, that was the third pair. And... Oh, I've got the um, these as well, the Amex Thiers, Nike, Nike Thiers. I've sold these a number of times, 15 bucks. They turn into 50 as well. So there were four extra pairs of shoes, all of that media, um, all these devices. What an unreal run. That was $346 spent in one store. Guys, I've been doing these trips of the thrift episodes for 77 episodes straight, and I don't think I've ever spent $540 in one video. Today has been massive. The total resale value when you add up these 44 items and when they go on to sell on eBay, $2,150 is the outcome. And if you have a look at the normal return that I normally get at 45% of that figure, you're talking about $960 worth of value that we can put to the kitty for the USA trip that we're about to go on. So $4,300 in seven weeks of thrifting. This is turning into a very sizable kitty that we're gonna go and splash over there in the USA. So I really do appreciate you watching this episode, guys. It has definitely by far been the biggest that I've ever done. Um, so thank you for being here for it. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Hopefully you did. It's probably the best I'm gonna be able to do for quite some time. Uh, and if you missed last week's episode, go ahead and watch that one here because that one was a good one too. We brought in some coin for this USA trip. 30% uh, clubbers, if you're still here watching now, you guys absolutely rock. Thanks for being here. Look forward to catching you on Sunday for another flea market run. We'll see you then, guys. Thanks a lot.